Welcome back to Anime Archaeology. Thank you very much for joining me. Today I'm going to talk about the Gundam 00 movie, Awakening of the Trailblazer. This is kind of a surprising movie, and yes, it is Awakening, oddly. This is a sequel to Gundam 00, and I'm going to avoid spoilers from the movie, except anything that was in, like, the first paragraph of the Wikipedia uh, article. Uh, but I will talk about the TV series, because the fact this is a sequel might surprise surprise you if you've seen the anime series. The show's ending seemed to me to pretty much tie up all of the loose plot threads except for one big one which was the implication of aliens and that's where the movie picks up on that's the big driver for the plot of the movie. As such this movie is aimed squarely at Gundam 00 fans. If you haven't seen the series this movie will not make much sense to you. I mean You'll understand that there are characters fighting aliens, but it's really made for folks who've watched the series. And indeed, it has the same staff as the anime, same director, music, writer, all that stuff. Awakening of the Trailblazer seems to have three goals. Number one, have the aliens show up and fight them. Number two, have all of the surviving characters from the TV show show up and hopefully do something awesome. And at number three, give Setsuna a purpose, which is surprising to me because I thought the whole point of the series, well, let's get to that. I feel like the TV show addressed Setsuna's purpose by saying he now doesn't have one and that's good. Setsuna's big flaw is that he tends to latch on to external ideologies and follow those to a fault, first with Alial Salchez and then Celestial Being. He defines himself by that purpose. By the end of Double O the series, he realizes he doesn't have to define himself by somebody else's purpose. He can have his own purpose. No, he gets a whole new purpose here. I'm not going to spoil it, but that did seem kind of surprising to me. Let's put that aside for a minute and talk about the direction and animation of the movie. And it's pretty much just like the show. Now, the show is already pretty high budget, but by movie standards, I would say it's kind of more moderate budget. Perfectly fine, and it never looked cheap to me. But you're probably not going to look at this and say, oh my gosh, it looks like Akira, right? It, it, it's uh, perfectly good for an anime movie. No, no problems there. Now, the characters do continue on with their relationships from the end of the show, so I, it felt like good continuity through from the TV series, no complaints there, except for one character where there's one relationship that's developed in the movie that I found a little unsatisfying, but again, spoilers, so just FYI, some of them may not work for you. Speaking of things that might not work for you, uh, the aliens are very alien, and... Like, they're not even humanoid. And while that makes for a really neat sci-fi premise, I can see some folks bouncing off of that. I enjoyed it. I thought it was interesting and unique. But, again, I can see people finding it bizarre and hard to latch on to, hard to understand. So your mileage may vary there. Then there's Setsuna's purpose. Setsuna's new purpose in this kind of left me cold, mainly because it doesn't feel necessary. Um, I felt like Setsuna was in a pretty good place by the end of the TV series, and to Setsuna's new purpose just feels like it's there because the movie needs some central new direction to go in. So they decided because Setsuna is kind of the main character, we're going to go there. But, I don't know, it, it left me a little cold. Now, I don't mean to rag on this movie. I enjoyed it. It was a fun ride. There were some elements that didn't gel for me in the kind of story I want to tell in this kind of movie and where the characters were kind of going, but that's personal taste. I think especially if you're a fan of Gundam 00 and you're curious about that little plot thread about the aliens, this is well worth your time. And in general, it's a fun, exciting Gundam movie.